Welcome friends, I am your digital mentor Ankit in Anuv Creations. So today we are going to start how retargeting works. Retargeting actually the process to target those people who are actually your, your audience, you who are listening your digital campaigns previously. So we are targeting those people to advertise some more. So don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit this bell icon so that you can get all the notifications and like this video and watch this video till end. So let's get started. powerful type of display advertising is called retargeting and lets you use what people do on your website in order to target them with a specific advertising message even after they left. In this video we will show you how it works and help you de decide if retargeting is right for your digital strategies or not. Let's use our example of a film review podcast once more. A potential customer come across your website searching for something new to listen on their mobile morning commute they are interested and start to subscribe but halfway through filing out the subscription form and suddenly distracted by a phone call then they leave your site before hitting subscribe while you are probably glad they visited your website you did be happier if they had finished subscribing they might forget about your podcast or find something else to subscribe to instead here where retargeting comes in your first step in retargeting is to define your target audience first of all. There are lots of retargeting solutions out there to choose from and many display networks offer this feature as well. But no matter which you use, you first need to define who will be in your audience. So you could define your target audience as people who started to fill out a subscription form but did not complete it. Your retargeting service might need you to add a little code to your web page or integrate it in your web analytic tool as well. So it can start collecting a list of people from your website who match this criteria. Again, this won't be a list of individual people with any personal information such as name, email or addresses. Instead, it's an anonymous list often called a retargeting list of users that match your criteria who can be retargeted with ads. So now that you have defined an audience any visitors who started to subscribe but did not finish will be added to the list. Now it's time to create ads specifically for them. These ads can be pretty fo focused because you know everyone seeing them has already started to subscribe on your website. So you might include things like special offers for extra content, a free gift for signing up or some other incentives that aimed at getting them to come back and finish subscribing. With a campaign set up to show ads to people on the retargeting list, you can now reach potential customers even after they have left your site as well. So later on, they might see one of your ads click on it and finish signing up. Once they have subscribed, there is no need to show them ads with subscription incentives anymore. So you might want to increase, create a new retargeting list for current subscribers. Then you can target them with a different ad campaigns, perhaps convincing them to come back and explore all other podcasts on offer. So that's how retargeting works. It tracks what people do on your website and then create an audience based on their actions, letting advertisers design specific ads for people who have or have not done specific things. Hopefully this sparked some ideas of how you might be able to use retargeting for your own business to re-engage visitors, turn them into customers and bring them back again and again. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications. Thank you very much. Have a good day.